hello uh, all of you good afternoon my name is uh, v madhukar working at jdphs arvapalli i am going to take the topic equations of motion which will come in ninth class english medium this is the day 3 program yes before deriving the equations of motion just we have to remind the previous quantities physical quantities what are that motion rest distance displacement speed velocity and acceleration and also we discussed the various types of speeds various types of velocities and also we discussed the uniform acceleration non uniform acceleration so today we are going to discuss the derivations of equations of motion the first equation of motion is v is equal to u plus at here see here in order to derive this equation consider a moving body e is moving with an initial velocity u it is acted upon by an acceleration a for time t seconds let v be the final velocity of the body one second here see first of all consider a moving body moving body means any moving body means that may be scooter that may be cycle that may be bus that may be car whatever it may be so i would like to consider any moving body see here it is a consider it is a moving body let this moving body is moving with an initial velocity u it is acted by an uniform acceleration a for time t seconds so that v be the its final velocity in previous we discussed about the acceleration according to the definition of the acceleration the rate of change of the velocity is called acceleration or in other words the change in the velocity per unit time is also called acceleration so acceleration a is equal change in the velocity means initial velocity is u final velocity is v so the change is v minus u by time t so by cross multiplying this what we get v minus u is equal to at so by shuffling this v is equal to u plus at means uh, what is the use of this equation if you know the initial velocity acceleration and the time taken to travel then by using this equation we may find out the final velocity after t seconds that is the use so we have to do some problems on this okay now a problem is that a scooterist applies brakes and brings his scooter to rest in 1.5 seconds if the retardation of the brakes is 5 meters per second square calculate the initial velocity of the scooter in si system and also convert that velocity into kilometers per hour here see a scooter is, so before doing the problem you have to write the given values what he has given so read the problem carefully a scooterist applies the brakes that means the scooter is moving so he applied the brakes on a moving scooter so that it comes to rest means finally 
the velocity becomes zero. The final velocity becomes zero. So that's why we don't know the initial velocity. How much speed the scooter has before it comes to rest? We don't. We don't know that. That's why uh, we have to find out that. So initial velocity of the scooter, that is u, is equal to how much? We have to calculate this. Final velocity is zero. Why? Because by applying the brakes, his scooter comes to rest in 1.5 seconds. So that's why t is equal to, oh sorry, v is equal to zero. And also time is also given. That is t is equal to 1.5 seconds. Here see the word retardation. In previous we discussed about the retardation. Retardation means the negative acceleration is called retardation. So that's why you see retardation. Negative acceleration minus a is equal to 5 meters per second squared. So the acceleration a is equal to what right here? Minus 5 meters per second squared. So now apply the equation v is equal to u plus at. You know we don't know the u value but you know the a value. What is the a value here? See minus a. minus a it means a is here a is equal to minus 5 so that's why 0 is equal to u we don't know plus a minus 5 meters into time is also given 1.5 seconds so by simplifying this what we get here 0 is equal to u minus 1.5 into 5 so 7.5 so u minus 7.5 is equal to 0. Therefore, u is equal to 7.5 meters per second. Means the scooter is moving with this initial velocity 7.5 meters per second. Now we have to convert this 7.5 meters per second into kilometers per hour. Here is a mistake here, hour. So in order to change the kilometers per hour, we have to multiply 18 by 5. So 7.5 into 18 by 5 that is equal to 27 kilometers per hour. Okay, in order to understand more, we have to consider another problem. <coughs> Here is a problem that is a marble rolling on a smooth floor has an initial velocity of 0 0.4 meters per second. If the floor offers a retardation of 0 0.02 meter per second square. Calculate the time in which it will come to rest. Once again, listen, observe this problem. Marble is rolling on a smooth floor, has initial velocity. Initial velocity means u. U value is given 0 0.4 meters per second. If the floor offers a retardation, means the floor has some resistance. That's why the speed will comes, the speed will decrease, the velocity will decrease. So that's why we may get the retardation. That means negative acceleration is given, 0 0.02 meters per second square. Now, calculate the time in which it comes to rest. So it comes to rest means final velocity becomes zero. So here we have to calculate the time. Okay, so first write down, I, will, I would like to write the given values, initial velocity, u is equal to how much? 0 0.4 meters per second. Final velocity is 0. How you know this v is equal to 0? Because as the marble comes to rest, here see, rest, that's why v is equal to 0. Here see, retardation, retardation means negative acceleration, that's why here see, minus a is equal to 0 0.02 meter per second square. Therefore, A is equal to what rate? Minus 0 0.02 meters meter per second square. So, what is the time? We have to calculate the time. Okay. We know the equations, equation of motion. That is V is equal to U plus AT. What is V? It comes to 0 because it comes to rest. That's why V is equal to 0 is equal to initial velocity that was given 0 0.4 a value is given minus 0 0.02 into t so by simplifying this 
what we get here you you bring this 0.02 t to the left side what right plus 0.02 t is equal 0.4 t is equal 0.4 by 0.02 therefore by simplifying this you may get t is equal to 20 seconds that means the marble may comes to rest after 20 seconds due to the retardation the second equation of motion is that is s is equal to ut plus half at square <clears throat> here what is s s is the distance covered by the body u is the initial velocity t is the time taken to travel and where a is the acceleration of a body so in order to derive this equation we have to consider a moving body consider a body having an initial velocity u acted upon by an uniform acceleration a for time t seconds such that the final velocity of the body is v and the distance covered by that body is s in other words let u be the initial velocity of the body it is acted by a by an uniform acceleration so let v be the final velocity after t seconds and also let s be the distance traveled by this moving body in t seconds now so so what is our aim our aim is to find out the s is equal to ut plus half at square so here in order to generally you know the general mathematical formula is distance is equal to what you know speed into time or displacement is equal to what right what, what you know velocity into time but here we have the two velocities u and v so here which type of velocity should be taken so whenever we have two velocities we have to take average velocity so that's why average velocity is equal to what right here final velocity plus initial velocity by 2 what is final velocity you know v initial velocity is u so v plus u by 2 the general formula you know the distance is equal to what right what you know velocity into time so the distance covered or the displacement s is equal to what you know average velocity into time what is average velocity v plus u by 2 so distance covered that is s is equal to average velocity v plus u by 2 into time t so but you know from the equation of the first equation of motion what do you know v is equal to u plus a t so substitute this v value in this equation so s is equal what is v u plus a t so u plus a t plus u by 2 into t so this is equal to u plus u 2u by 2 this 2 belongs to all terms that's why u plus u 2u by 2 plus a t by 2 into t so 2 2 will be cancelled now what right here see u into t u t plus here see 2 is there so half a t into t t square so this is the s is equal to ut plus half a t square that means from this equation what you understand if you know the initial velocity acceleration and time taken to travel from one place to another place then by using this equation you may calculate the distance covered by the body this is the important so in order to understand this formula we have to take a problem what is that problem let us see <clears throat> a motor bike 
initially moving at 18 km per hour accelerates a rate of 5 meters per second square per 5 seconds. Calculate the distance covered by it from start and also calculate the final velocity. So here we have the two problems. What is the distance covered by the body and also what is the final velocity of the body? Means motor bike. So in this equation, you know, moving initially moving at 18 kilometers per hour. Here is the acceleration 5 meters per second. Here it is in the M, it is in SI system. See, it is in MK system. It is in SI system. So, uh, so you have to convert this kilometer per hour into SI system. That's why, see, initial velocity of the motor bike, that is U is equal to 18 kilometers per hour. Whenever if you convert the kilometer per hour into meters per second, you have to multiply with 5 by 18. Why? Because it is a mathematical convert because kilometer means 1000 meters by hour means 60 into 60. So by simplifying this, we may get here 5 by 18. So that is equal to 18 into 5 by 18 meters. So 18, 18 will be cancelled. So what do we get here? 5 meters per second. This is the initial velocity of the motor bike. Now, acceleration is also given 5 meters per second square. Time is also given. So, what is the final velocity? And also, what is the distance traveled by the body? So, so in order to find out the distance, you know, in the given problems, u is given, t is given, a is also given. So that we have to use the second equation of motion. What is the second equation of motion? S is equal to ut plus half at square. So S is equal to what is u? Initial velocity 5. T is time plus half into A is also given 5 meters per second square. So 5 into T is 5 square. T is also time 5 seconds. That is equal to. So by 25. 5 into 5, 5 square means 25, 25 into 5, 125 by 2. So by simplifying this 25 plus 62.5, that is equal to 87.5 meters. The second problem also he asked to find the final velocity. So we know whenever if you want to find out the final velocity, we need the first equation of motion. That is V is equal to U plus AT. That is equal to, what is u? 5 plus a, 5 into t. 5 plus 25, that is equal to 30 meters per second. In this way, you may calculate the distance traveled by the body and also final velocity of the body. Now, <clears throat> in our topic, we have the another equation <clears throat> that is v square minus u square is equal to 2 u s. Derive this equation. So in order to derive this equation, we have to consider a diagram. Consider a body having the initial velocity u acted upon by an acceleration a per t seconds such that the final velocity of the body is v and the distance covered is s. In other words, let u be the initial velocity. Let, let us consider a body is moving with initial velocity u which is acted upon by an acceleration a. Let uh, v be the final velocity after t seconds and also let s be the distance traveled by this moving body in t seconds. So, <clears throat> What is our aim? Our aim is to find out v square minus u square is equal to 2as. So in order to derive this, we have to use two equations of motion. What are the equations of motion? S is equal, this is the second equation. S is equal to ut plus half at square and v is equal to u plus at. <clears throat> Here see, square this equation to, that means, v square when you square this v square 
left right side also we have to square. So u plus a t whole square. So v square is equal a plus b whole square means a square plus 2ab plus b square means u square plus 2a means u b means a t plus b square means a t whole square. A t whole square means a square t square. So v square minus u square is equal to we take u square to the le left side. So is equal to, you have to take common 2 and also a. So 2a into so 2a was came outside. So the, what, what will remain here? u into t u t plus but here is here is 1. But so that's why 2 into half. So we get 1. So that's why here take half. 1a was came outside. So a into t square. But you know from equation 1, what do you know? ut plus half a t square is equal to yes. So you substitute this in substitute yes instead of this value. So that's what it v square minus u square is equal to 2a s. That means this is the relation between the initial velocity, final velocity, initial velocity and final velocity and acceleration and displacement. If any three of quantities were given, the fourth quantity can be calculated very easily. So in order, in order to understand that, we have to take a problem. <clears throat> Here see, a car moving at 36 kilometers per hour accelerates and covers a distance of 24 meters. If the final velocity of the car is 54 kilometers per hour, calculate the acceleration of the car and the time for which the car was accelerating. See, the car is moving at 36 kilometers per hour. It covers a distance 24 meters. See, it is in MK system, it is in SI system. So, convert this uh, kilometers per hour into meters per second. So, first of all, the initial velocity of the car is given 36 kilometers per hour. So, in order to convert the kilometer per hour into meters per second, multiply with 5 by 18. So, that what we get here? 10 meters. By simplifying this, what we get here? 10 meters per second. And also in this equation, the final velocity is also given. That is 54 kilometers per hour. So the final velocity of the car V is equal to 54 kilometers per hour. That is equal to 54 into, in order to convert this kilometer per hour into meter per second, what do you have to? 5 by 18. So by simplifying this, you may get here 15 meters per second. And also in this problem, the distance covered by the car is also given. That is Yes, is equal to what do you know? 24 meters. So, what is an acceleration? And also, find the time for which the car is accelerating. So, here we have the two problems. So, in order to find out the acceleration, we have to apply this equation. V square minus U square is equal to 2A. Just we derived this. Just previous we derived this. We know V is 15 meters per second square you know 10 meters per second square that was given so 15 square minus 10 square is equal to 2 into a we don't know acceleration into s was given 24 meters so by simplifying this 225 minus 100 is equal to 48a so 225 minus 100 means 125 that is equal to 48a so therefore, acceleration is equal to 125 by 48. By simplifying this, what do we get here? 26, sorry, 2.6 meters per second square. The second problem is also you can find the time. We know the initial velocity, final velocity, and acceleration. So we have to calculate the time. What is V? V is equal to you know 15. So 15 is equal to U. You know U is equal to you know 10. 10 plus a what do you know a is equal to just now we calculated 2.6 meters per second square so 2.6 into t then after then by simplifying this we may get here t is equal to 
So he has to 10, 15 minus 10, that is 5 by 2.6, that is equal, what do you know, by simplifying this, what do we get here? We get, uh, we get 1.9 seconds, okay? This is the application of the mathematical application for v square minus u square is equal to vas. Next, it is very, very important. But in our syllabus, in our ninth class, it was not given. But in doing the pro some, pro in, but it was, uh, we may use this formula in doing the problems in our ninth class syllabus. So, for this purpose, once again, you have to consider a moving body. Let u be the initial velocity of the body acted by an acceleration g. Let s1 be the distance traveled by this moving body in n seconds means let this body is traveled from this position to this position it takes n seconds let s1 be the distance traveled by the body in nine n seconds similarly here see let s2 be the distance traveled by the same body in n minus 1 seconds here see for example suppose if you take in 10 seconds, it is traveled S1 distance. In 9 seconds, it traveled S2 distance. We have to find out the distance traveled by the 10th second. Similarly, here, here nth second. How you know calculate? Here, see, in n seconds, the distance traveled by the body is S1. In n minus 1 seconds, what is the distance traveled by that body? S2. It is careful. Just means the next n minus 1 after n minus 1 seconds, that is nth second will come. So, here C. So, in n seconds, because time t is equal to what is the n. So, s you know, s is equal to ut plus half at square. So, in n seconds, instead of a, you have to take n. So, in n seconds, the distance traveled by the body is s1 is equal to u into t instead of t what is n so u n plus half a n square and also in n minus 1 when t is equal to n minus 1 what is the distance s2 s2 is equal to u into n means n minus 1 plus half a instead of t is equal what do you know n minus 1 whole square okay so that this is the S1 is the distance traveled by the body in n seconds. S2 is the distance traveled by the same body in n minus 1 seconds. So, the distance traveled by the body in nth second means the last second is equal to S1 minus S2. That is equal to means in the nth second that is denoted by Sn that is equal to S1 minus S2. You know S1 value un plus half a n square minus S2 you know u of n minus 1 plus half a n minus 1 whole square that is equal to un plus half a n square minus expands u into n u n minus u into 1 u plus half a you see a minus b whole square means a square minus 2ab plus b square so that's why n square minus 2n plus 1 so u n and and means and you have to take out this bracket so what are u n plus half a n square minus into u n minus u n minus into minus plus u minus into plus minus half a into n square minus 2n plus 1. So, here see un minus un will be cancelled. So, what remain here? Half a n square. So, half a n square u minus here see expand this half a n square 
minus into minus plus half a into 2n minus into plus minus half a into 1 half a. So here see half a n square minus half a n square will be cancelled. And here see what will remain right here. Sn is equal to u. Here see what remain here. U and then after here see 2 a n see 2 2 will be cancelled. So a into n a n minus half a. So u is equal and take common a a of n minus half. This is about the distance traveled by the body in nth second. Means it is used to calculate the distance traveled by the body in last second. These are the four important equations of motion which will occur in this chapter. Now, so this is, these are very useful in higher educations. So we have to remember these all four equations in doing the problems. Okay. Thank you giving this opportunity for one and all. Thank you.